the summer of 2016, I met with 13 of the club's members to describe their journeys into the game and their playing experiences at Macclesfield. Most of these players came to rugby through the traditional route of learning the game at school, then joining their local club. But some were breastfed on rugby, first attending games with fathers who were still playing, or through many in junior sections. But wherever they started, they all have one thing in common, a lasting love of the game and Macclesfield Rugby Club in particular. Peter Harper, Harpo, chairman of Macclesfield Rugby Club. You started playing for the the club whilst you were still a schoolboy. Correct, yes. Do you yeah. want to pick the story up there? Yeah, um, <clears throat> came home from playing for my school in the morning, uh, Bramhall Grammar School as was, um, and uh, my dad was about to leave to play for Macclesfield Veterans in the last game of the season, uh, fifth team as it was then, I believe, uh, and said, we're, we're a player short, um, don't unpack your bag, you can come and play for us. I said, How old were you then? I said, Dad, I'm 13. <laughs> he said, don't matter, we'll put you on the wing, you'll be fine. <clears throat> so um, I said, OK, right, well, why not, in for a penny. Uh, it was the last game of the season, and that was in the day when the first, the thirds and the fifths always travelled together on a coach. And with it being the last game of the season, it was our, our old Parkonians on the Wirral, and uh, they always put a big spread on for us, had a disco, and it was a proper old last game of the season, drinking and singing and uh, the, whole, the whole shebang. So uh, I survived the game, uh, went in the clubhouse to be met by uh, Pint of Bitter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 13 years of age. Followed by several more. Um, got introduced to various drinking games and uh, had an absolute fantastic time. Uh, came home on the coach, um, went to school on Monday, told all my mates about it, and, and I was the hero of the school. Uh, <laughs> little did I know that um, it wasn't like that every week. I thought that was every Saturday was like that <laughs> rugby. Uh, but that's how I uh, started playing at Macclesfield. And yeah. uh, once the... Uh, once the link was there, it was uh, uh, never broken. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So you went from school to then... Uh, uh, ca ca carried on playing um, right through for, uh, school in the morning, um, uh, fifth team, and then it evolved into the vets in the afternoon. And then um, I ended up, similar similar scenario, turned up at the club expecting to play for the fifth team, and the second team was short uh, away at uh, Bingley. Pete, you'll come up with us to play for the second team, will you? So how, how old were you then? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. So you are playing second team rugby at fifteen? Yeah, not right. through choice. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> went over to Bingley and we got slaughtered about 67 nil, and that was in the days when you only got four points for a try as well, so uh, <laughs> you can imagine there's a bit one-way traffic. Um, um, and then uh, went back to playing for the fourth, fifth vets, Colts on a Sunday, because Colts used to play on a Sunday in those days. So, yeah, I played three games a weekend, most weekends. Um, Amazing. And then uh, um, ended up playing for the first team, age 17. Um, so, hold on a minute. With Mr Chunk here, then. Sorry. So, so you, 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 you're then playing for the first team at 17. Yeah. When did you start playing Colts rugby? Uh, on, well, Colts played on a Sunday. On a Sunday? <laughs> so, I played for the first team on a Saturday and, and Colts on a Sunday. Goodness gracious. Yeah. 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 And what position were you playing then, when you played first team then at 17? Uh, I was playing back row. Back row? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that was in the days when they had no replacements. Yeah. And no substitutes were allowed. So you had a bare 15 players, and if somebody got injured, you just had to fill in. So what year are we now, and, and where are we playing? Okay, we're, we're, we're 1974, first team debut, uh, which was, if I remember rightly, again on the Wirral, um, Old Instonians, yep. I believe. Uh, who had these rather nice, uh, very deep circular baths, uh, which yes. was fantastic back in the day when you could have a, a long soak and a cup of tea in the in the bath yeah. after the game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, played uh, at seventeen with uh, with Dave Phillips, who I believe has uh, already done his bit with you. Um, yeah. Who else? Um, uh, Graham Waters, uh, Bob Jenner. Who uh, obviously is organising this uh, this historical yeah. uh, rumbling? Um, yeah. Who else was that you that you that you would know? Um, oh crikey! I think most of them are either dead now or moved on. 
Where does, where does your story start in terms of uh, your involvement with the club? It starts very early on, I think. Um, I used to go down and watch my father play at Macclesfield when they were building the new clubhouse. So it'll be the early 60s. Right. Um, I can't remember much about so that. That's Tivington, you Tivington, yeah, yeah. I can't remember much about it. I can remember being hitting the ball, face bar ball, watching one game. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. After that, unfortunately, I had to go to Wimslow to start my uh, rugby career. Because Macclesfield didn't have a junior, mini junior section at the time. Right. As soon as that started, I moved to Macclesfield at Titherington. And the early days there was really remembering Steve Smith coming down yeah. as an international, I think he was an international at the time, helping with the coaching and organising the kids. Yeah. So, so it started would, off very early. Really. What would have been your first games for the club? It'll be the junior section at that, that time. Yeah. Um, I played before. I'm not sure, I can't remember what age group they started in those days. Yeah. I mean, it starts at six now. I might have been a bit older than that. I started at, before I got into King's Senior School. Right. So it was in, it'll have been in the late 60s. Late 60s, right? Yeah. 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 And played all the way through at school and at the club until the Colts. I right. made a lot of friends in the Colts. And um, there's still friends today, really. All right. Who was in the Colts? Um, key guys who played all the way through with the club with me was Steve Henshaw. Yeah. He played well right the way through together. Right. Um, and then there were other lads who played at school with me, Rupert Sanders, who played for Blackheath. Um, quite a few of them. Sam and Burgess, who's a friend today, to yeah. date. Um, Stuart Smedley, brother of Neil, who played first team at Macclesfield for many years. Yeah. So yeah. you make friendships that stay for life, basically. So when, uh, one of the reasons I moved back to Macclesfield, I got two young boys. Yeah. As you mentioned, Jack and Tom. Yeah. And so it's more family and more enjoyable yeah, yeah and social yeah so when did you finally hang, hang your boots up about i think it's about 10 11 years ago so i stopped about late mid mid 40s yeah. which was still playing first team at the time then as well so it runs in the family with my brother yes the longevity <laughs> yes yeah. i do remember you playing in the charity matches that i used to organize with pete harper for Marie curie cancer yeah Care. Um, which I think was a pretty formidable front row uh, then. Yeah. Um, I think the best game, the most interesting game of those was the Pete Harper's retirement day. Yes. When I, I'd not played for three, four years, <clears throat> and we were promised we'd be 60 players on each side, and so we'd be rolling subs to be quite a nice, relaxing game. So we got there, the Pete's team had 60 odd players, we had 16, and had to play the whole game, and I was very tired. tired. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't walk for about a week. David Phillips. Yes. Macclesfield Rugby Club. Yeah. Where does your story start, David? Uh, where does it start? I suppose I started at King's School, really. Yeah. Um, and didn't go down to Mac straight away when I left. I went down to watch and thought, by God, they're bloody big <laughs> and hard. So where are, where are we now? What, what, what kind of year is I this? I would say we're about 1966. 66. And I got playing until 68, Yeah. something like that. Yeah. And then I had a game for the Colts. Okay. And then after that, I think I played first team most of the time. So you moved straight out of the Colts into, yeah, into the yeah, first team? Yeah, yeah. Which was a classic way of uh, <laughs> getting into the first. Keeping the young players. Yeah, so who would have been skipper then? John Robbo. John Robbo? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Um, 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 was this at Tivington or pre At uh, Tivy, Tivington, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a football fanatic in my youth. And at the age of 13, I went to watch Manchester United and Benfica in the European Cup final. And that was the same year... A fellow called Alan McInnes, who was a teacher at King's School, came to me and said, Leach, you're playing rugby on Saturday. And I said, I'm not, sir. I said, I'm a footballer. No, no, you're playing rugby. So I said, well, what happens if I don't turn up, sir? He said, well, you have to take the consequences. Well, that same man was my form teacher in my first year when I was 11 years of age. And he's also my maths teacher. And as you know, I've been, I've been able to talk a, a fair bit over the years. I was a bit gobby in my youth. And when I was 11, he went, leech, out, bend over, and he whacked me with a snooker cue. So I thought, if I don't turn up on Saturday, what's he going to whack me with on Monday? So I turned up, played, and like they say, the rest is history. And that's when I started playing rugby at the age of 13. When did you join Macclesfield Rugby Club? John Robinson came knocking on the door. 
and I must have been 16. So I played, I've actually played for Kings in the morning and I played for Macclesfield in the afternoon. And he came and introduced himself to my mum and dad, said he'd like to chat with me and invited me to come and play for Macclesfield. Right. And I did. So what, what year are we now? We're roughly 1970. 1970, so this is pre his Wilmslow days. Yes, yeah. he was first team captain. First team captain, yeah. 1970. He was my first, very first first team captain. Right. And, and what, what position were well, you Well, this is the bizarre story, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> my very first, as you, well, you know... The, the, my Don't very tell first me scrum half. Was scrum half. It was. Yes. <laughs> when I was slim and fast and I could sidestep. Yeah. And I played there for five years. So what age were you when he... I was 16. 16? Yeah. 16. So you joined John Robinson in the first team. Who, who else was playing then? Uh, Tony Close, Bob yeah. Cross, um, Keith Oliver, uh, Malcolm Lyons, I think, was playing. Alan Evans, who... Mr Tackler. Oh, gone. So um, those are the names that I remember. Um, so you were the, the, the young lad. I was the, the young lad. Sniper. Yeah. yeah. Um, pre leagues and all all that, all friendly. No substitutes, anything. No like substitutes, that. Nothing. 15, Nothing. and that was it. Yeah. We wouldn't, we wouldn't travel like they travel nowadays. No. Or we wouldn't train like they train nowadays. With John Robinson being the captain, he also asked me to babysit for him. So he would get extremely drunk after a game, ply me with a couple of pints. And then I would go and babysit. He would come home, drive me home. Depending on how drunk he was, I'd get 50p. If he was extremely drunk, I'd get a pound. <laughs> <laughs> Who were the teams that you remember playing then? We, we, the furthest we ever travelled was the Wirral. Yeah. We played teams like um, Old Parkonians, yeah. Old Instonians. We played locally at Burnage, Bowden. Nick Hines, Macclesfield Rugby Club. We never played rugby together, uh, Nick, so my sort of understanding of you and your game and playing has come from uh, talking to other people. How did it all start for you? Well, that won't have been a good experience, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I joined Macclesfield in about 1978. I'd, play, I'd gone from school, played rugby at Wimslow, and then was approached by my close friend Bob Jenner, who was captain at Macclesfield first team, and said, right. come and play at Macclesfield. Right. Our last game for Wimslow, who were known as the Wawas. Still are days, known as the Wawas. <laughs> My last game for Wimslow, I travelled in the front seat of a Jaguar to Sandbach to play rugby in the afternoon. And My first game for Macclesfield, which was the following Saturday, I travelled in the back of uh, Nebby Jones's minivan to, to uh, Wigan or Lee or somewhere. A bit of a come down. I kept thinking, have I really made the right choice here? But, yeah. And I've never looked back. Well, have yeah. a minute of playing rugby at yeah. Macclesfield. There are certain themes that run through these memories. Although there were no leagues, results still mattered. Wins were celebrated and losses commiserated, both with the requisite enthusiasm. Whenever they started, they all have one thing in common, a lasting love of the game and Macclesfield Rugby Club in particular.